are fighting not to have to live that same experience. We have communities from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, and Delaware who are fighting desperately to protect their towns, their natural lands, their streams, their rivers, their wetlands from the gas pipelines that are cutting a devastating path in order to serve the drilling companies and the LNG export companies that are here now and are attempting to break through into new communities like here in Maryland. Now, there are many politicians and public officials who think it's okay to devastate our environment and to devastate our communities as long as they can claim they're going to give us a few jobs and some profits out of it. What good is a job if you don't have clean water to drink, quality air to breathe, and a healthy body to sustain you through your life? In the Delaware River watershed, we have a moratorium against shale, develop, shale gas development. And as a result, we have $22 billion and hundreds of thousands of jobs that are generated every year by our, by our clean and healthy Delaware River. These are jobs that could be harmed or lost if drilling increases because of LNG exports if Cove Point is allowed to happen. No. Also harmed would be the water supply of 17 million people who rely upon the Delaware River for drinking water. Cove Point means more devastation for communities in Maryland and far beyond. We are all connected and that is why we are all here from throughout the region, from throughout the nation to stand together to say no Cove Point. No Cove Point.